For those that don't know, my name is Amanda Ray. I um, have been working from home since 2015. I started my online journey and I didn't do so well. So from online, I decided to focus on offline and it was a gentleman that's been doing this for over 30 plus years and he introduced me into off offline marketing, direct mail marketing, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I wanted a way out of my job. My back was against the wall and I knew I had to do something different. I was in such a depression where I was working and the things that was happening, it just was like, you know what, before I lose my job, I'm going to start looking for something else. And it led me to YouTube, which led to online and then offline. Um, within my first um, six to eight months, I made $50,000 with offline um, marketing that's in profit. And what I've been doing is just trying to teach others how to do the same. And let me tell you guys, it's not about this journey being easy and it's not about the journey being hard. It's just really about being consistent. And consistency means a lot of different things for a lot of different people, right? So I tell people all the time is if you stay in it long enough and you put the work in, no shortcuts, okay? But put in some real, true hard work, you will see results because it's one of the easiest things to duplicate, direct mail marketing, okay? And it's a lot different than online marketing. Um, there's, and, and, and one of the things that I realized with offline marketing in, there's not a lot as much to learn and there's not a lot of things that you need to do and it's easier to stay focused because you know exactly what to do okay where with online marketing you have to know funnels and traffic and social media and things like that and a lot of email marketing it's a little bit of a different ball game so um i've been just pumping out information and hoping to inspire others and touch people and let them know that if I can do it, they can do it. I don't have a college degree. I didn't go to school for this. I am just a single mom of two that was looking for a way out and I wasn't going to stop until I found a way out. I am now a six figure earner and um, I love what I do. I teach people how to earn I take time with my team members and I make sure that they have all of the tools that they need in order to be successful. And the reason why we're here today is because there's a young lady that just started with us um, with direct mail marketing that's been online for some time. And she said, you know what? I've been following you for a while and I want to do direct mail marketing. I want to know what it's all about and is it really easy to do? And is this something that um, I can be successful in? And I said, absolutely. And we're going to talk to Nadia today, who's been um, doing direct mail marketing for a very short period of time, and she's had amazing results. She's extremely excited about her business, and I'm hoping that by having her tell you guys her testimony, her story, you guys know that it's not just me. It's also Nadia, along with hundreds of others who are earning daily from home checking their mailbox every day, getting $300 checks, $1,000 checks, $50 checks. Like they're just coming in consistently. And um, all, I, all I can say is if you're consistent, this is something you can easily duplicate, okay? Every time I go to the mailbox, I have seven, 10, 15, 20 envelopes at a time. And they just keep coming in. And all I do is I just stay consistent. There are some times where I take a break, but for the most part, consistency is key. So I'm going to go ahead and let Nadia pretty much introduce herself and tell you a little bit about her background and where she came from and where she's at now and how this program has helped her. Hey, Nadia, how are you doing today? Hi, how are you? Thank you so much, Amanda, for like no inviting me to this webinar. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Nadia Sobrati. Um, I live in Queens, New York, and um, I started my online journey um, almost three years ago. Um, but you know what? I have a healthcare background. I have, a, I have degrees in medicine, and I couldn't find a job after spending so many years in school, thousands of dollars in debt. And one day I saw someone who was telling his story on Facebook, and um, out of pure desperation, I contacted him that night. And with the last $150 I had in my account, I joined him on my MLSC. 
I had no idea what was attraction marketing, network marketing. I didn't even do a Facebook Live. I didn't even know what was Facebook Live. You know, so um, two weeks after, after I joined him, he called me and he goes, listen, you need to go live. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go live. I was terrified. I'm not kidding. So for that whole week, I actually like, you know, at that time, I didn't really know anyone in the business to actually help me. I, I didn't know about topics. So I went on YouTube, started researching topics about network marketing, personal branding. I didn't even know what was personal branding. I thought it was like, yeah, you, you're branding a company, you know? I had no idea what I was doing. So for that whole month, I actually went live. And, um, you know, I made no money the first six months. But I didn't give up, you know? And, um, you know, after that, that six months, I ended up selling my engagement ring and hired a coach. <laughs> well, my ex and I had broken up, but he told me to keep the ring. So I ended up selling the ring. And I hired a coach. And after that, I started making money. I hit L2 leadership rank and MLS fee. Then I built another, then I built the MLM, um, multi-level marketing business. Um, I hit three leadership ranks in, in two months. And then I, um, I built a team of over a thousand people. Then I hit uh, three leadership ranks in Branding University and then another one and another MLM. So here I am right now. And, um, you know, I have been following, I think I met Amanda about eight months ago. And I re we spoke once, and uh, but she had no idea I was following her. I was watching her journey, but I wouldn't comment on her videos. You know, I was just watching her because that's what I do. Like, if I'm going to join a leader, I want to see that they're getting results. You know, because when it comes from, you know, I could train a lot of people and to get them results. But I want to make sure if I'm going to, if I'm going to join a leader, I want to make sure that they're getting results, right? So, um, yeah, so I was following her for a good six months and I started watching her journey. And then about two weeks ago, I contacted her. I was like, hey, Amanda, what do you do? You know, and she was like, oh, you know, this is what I do. I was like, send me some information. So I signed up and um, I've only been doing this. I've never done uh, offline marketing. Um, I've always, you know, recruited tons of people on Facebook because I'm on all the other social media platforms. And yeah, in the past seven days, I made $965. Four, four envelopes came in. So this is my story. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So, and that's, and you did that within two weeks. Actually one week. One week. Wow. Seven days. And let me ask you a question. Is it much of a learning curve as far as online marketing and offline marketing? Is there one that you find easier than the other? Um, um, I find offline marketing very easy because number one, you don't have to build a funnel. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars running ads, Facebook ads, because as you know, Amanda, that's very expensive. Mm -hmm. and, it's on ads and, it, and you, you're not going to get anything the first few times. You got to keep tweaking it mm -hmm. for you to start making money, right? So you could spend hundreds of dollars or maybe thousands of dollars and not even get one sale running ads, right? And recruiting. Another thing, a lot of people on social media, uh, they don't know how to recruit. Correct. So doing this offline, I find it's very easy, very, very easy to make money, you know? Yeah. And, and that's what, that was my, my thing is I, I just felt like people always tell me, you know, there's 97% of people that are online that aren't going to make a dime. And out of the 3%, you know, there, there's a very few that's really making a full-time income. So what I tell people all the time is that direct mail marketing is, for the masses only because there's so many people that are failing online and they're looking for something else because it's not that they don't want to do the work. They just don't know how to do the work. So one of the things that I love about Nadia is that she takes time with her team. She has a Facebook group she put together for everyone that joins her or that's interested in um, direct mail marketing. She's actually doing the trainings and I love that because that's something that I do with my people. I tell them exactly what they need in order to be successful. And then I give them the option, like, you know, and, and that's the thing. I notice a lot of people, they want to take the shortcut, right? But there's a, a really fast way to do this. And then there's a not so fast way to do this, right? Nadia and I, and I, of course, because we've been online for a few years or so, we know the really fast way and we know the, the kind of slow method. So what we do is we both, she has the Facebook group. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one trainings, but we give people all of the things and the details that they need in order to be successful. Because one thing that I tell people, people is like, well, do I have to do anything online? Absolutely not. 
I know a lady that's been doing this for about 40 plus years that does complete offline marketing. And I actually, it's funny, I've bought thousands of leads from her because she has a really good lead source and she only does offline. So she really gravitates towards making sure she has the best leads possible. But with that said, like what I tell people is you also want to have a website because let me tell you one of the reasons why everyone goes online, whether they get a postcard or a flyer in the mail, if they're just picking up a flyer and they're like, you know what, I want to see what this is all about. At some point, you don't think that person is going to want to go online to do some research. So if you have a website that's branded to you, that has information for you, it's just going to get you closer to making that um, person comfortable to make a purchase. Okay. So that's one of the things that we, we help with our team. We make sure that they have a website where people can go and look up information online if that's what they want to do. Um, they can print out your PDF if they want to and send out their, um, their order form. Okay. And you know, you don't have to have it, but that's going to put you one step ahead of everyone else. If you just have a website. Okay. So we have this all done for you in a package bundled up with a red bow on it. Right. <laughs> all you have to do is make the decision to get started. We, there's so many people that have been in opportunities, including myself, that didn't work out for whatever reason. The company went under, they stopped promoting, they stopped answering phone call, calls or emails, or the sponsor may have taken off. It happens to the best of us, right? But you have to keep pushing ahead because that's what separates you from the rest. I have so many people, I have a lady that reached out to me today and she's like, I am I'm, I feel like completely done. You know, she came in at the highest level in another program and it's no longer here. And that can be devastating. I know the feeling because in 2015, I had spent, I thought that all I needed to do was spend a lot of money, spend a good amount of money to make a whole bunch of money. Not realizing that there was some things that I need to do, needed to do on the back end in order to really start allowing people to know, like, and trust me, you know? So with that said, I put out a ton of money online and it wasn't until I went offline that I actually started making money. Okay. And even though it wasn't a lot in the beginning, the little bit that I made had me excited enough to keep going on because I'm like, you know what? The $75 that I got today, can I could see it turning into hundreds of thousands of dollars six months from now. And I was absolutely right. So, you know, 50,000 my first year, I was happy with that. I said, you know, I can stay at home with my children and be that work from home mom if I'm bringing in 50,000 a year. And 50,000 easily turned to 100,000. And my mentor, I remember him telling me, Amanda, all you have to do, the one thing that you can never forget is to keep the pipeline full. And I, I didn't understand it in the beginning, but that's what he said. Nadia, have you ever heard of that? The pipeline, how important yeah. the pipeline is? Mm -hmm. You keep the pipeline full, you will always make money because it's just like a never ending stream that's always coming in as long as you're always pumping out information. And the more you do, the bigger it gets. So 50,000 turned into 100,000. 100,000 turned into 200,000 and I hit almost a half a million dollars last year, I hit about $408,000 just working from home. But I did have a mentor and what I decided to do is I promised him if I was able to leave my job and I was able to produce a full-time income, I would take the time to teach others how to do the same. Now, what I was telling a friend today, you could lead the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink, right? Everyone isn't going to listen to what it is that you have to say. They're not going to believe everything that you say. And a lot of people are going to take shortcuts, just like I did in the beginning. And that's just a part of people's nature, what they believe, what they don't believe, what they want to do, what they don't want to do. But all you have to do is continue to believe in yourself and keep giving out information. 
once you have a certain amount of people that can duplicate what it is that you're doing, that's when you start earning six figures a year. And guys, what I want you to know is that it's not, I don't make money from a lot of people duplicating. It's a small amount of people that are duplicating. That's all you need. People think that those that are making a ton of money are getting millions of people, hundreds of thousands, but it's not that big because there's not a lot of people in the game that are willing to sacrifice and actually make that move. But it's just that small amount of people, you know, it's so funny. I was looking at, in 2018, I was in a program and I went into my back office and it's so funny. I, I, I had a residual, I still have it today. And it's, it's so funny, the residual that I had coming in, it was a, it was a nice chunk of change. It was, it was in the thousands, but it was only from like 75 people. And it was just so, I was just like blown away. Cause I, I never could think that just 75 people in this world can help me generate thousands of dollars on a monthly basis, <laughs> but it's so true. And you know, when I do my coaching and my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I, I do a lot of training, I tell people don't really think about the masses because you know we start to get caught up in numbers right and and it's really not about the numbers it's more about really just putting out the information and let and allowing a little bit to trickle in at, at a time that's going to eventually lead up to a full-time income so yeah like i said i had 75 people and i was making thousands of dollars i'm thinking that the money that was coming into me was from a ton of people, hundreds of people, and it was only 75 people, guys. So just to give you a little bit of background, you know, Nadia, she's been with us and she's been doing awesome. And I'm just happy that, that she's here and she's able to give her testimony because it's about people like Nadia who started out with nothing. She has a degree. She went to school, no, couldn't find a good job and decided to take another route. And because she was, she sold her ring, guys. Like she, she did what was necessary in order. And sometimes we have to do that. Yeah. Me at the end of the day, Nadia, when I first came online, my first year, I spent fifteen thousand dollars over the course of a year in three months. I didn't make a dime, and I realized that wasn't the route for me. The more money I was spending, the more money I was losing. It was just like it was like I was drinking it. Like it was just going out, and you know, nothing was coming in. And then I took a step back and I said, you know what, Amanda, you have to do something different. And if it wasn't for the gentleman that reached out to me, I don't think I would even have ever knew about direct mail marketing or would have been able to take that path, you know, but, um, it's really just a great journey. I you just know like, what, um, you know what I like about this direct mail marketing, it's not like an MLM, mm -hmm. the multi-level marketing, you have to keep recruiting people and your downline, they don't make money because they don't know how to recruit, right? So it's like people keep dropping out. You got to keep recruiting. And with this, you're making a, a huge commission, guys. You know, to make $300 on an MLM, multi-level marketing, let's say the product, you know, most of these products, you're probably making $50 commission. So you know how many people you got to recruit to make $300? Six. And a lot of these, your recruits, they don't know how to build. So it's tough. Unless you're going to spend money, you know, running ads. And some of these ads don't convert. You know, so what I like about this program is anyone can actually do this. Anyone, you know, and, and that's another thing. If you get three people that come in as a Sapphire level, that's, you just made $900 and that can happen in any given week. Am I right, Nadia? Yes. So there's a lot of people that's not even making $400 a week at their, their job and they're working 40 hours a week. Am I right? Work week is like 40 hours. Okay, so some people are at their job for 40 hours making less than $400. Listen, I wasn't even making that. I got a job, direct TV, working six hours a day because I was desperate. It couldn't, you know, like, and then they were cutting my hours, and then it took me three weeks to get paid. I, I quit, you know, because I was getting paid, what, twelve fifty an hour with all these degrees that I have? Like, I shouldn't be making that kind of money, you know, when you're thousands of dollars in debt. I quit, you know? But um, there, there's a lot of people out there. Look, there are people out there with PhDs that are making twelve dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. guys. Yeah. 
And that's, that's the truth. And, and what I tell people is if you just focus on one a week, that's what you start out with one a week, then two a week, you get two people come in as a Sapphire level. You just made $600 and you didn't have to sit behind a desk and work 40 hours. Okay. I put in maybe about two hours a day, four times a week, you know, maybe three hours here and there, but it's nothing. I, I swear. I, 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 I tell people all the time I used to do conferences for a living, not too far from Nadia in Manhattan. I'm not that far from Nadia. And I used to run conferences for doctors and nurses. I worked 12 to 14 hour shifts. When we had a conference, I swear for 30 days straight, everyone was running around like a chicken with their head chopped off. Between booking, the hotel, the food, making sure everyone showed up, everyone know where they were seated. I'm, you're talking about a 14 hour day, a 14 hour day job, right? And I mean, I stayed in hotels that they were paying $500 a night for me to stay in. I wasn't even sleeping in the bed because I was working. I might've been in the bed for five hours out of the whole night because I'm, I was up constantly working. And then at the end of two weeks, my check was, I'll never forget, my check used to be $1,080 after taxes. $1,080 working 10 to 12 hours a week. Uh, I mean, 10 to 12 hours a day. My son didn't know who I was because he was with the babysitter more than he was with me. So I would go to pick him up and he would be running from me, running to, the, <laughs> to his nanny because that's who he knew. And it was one of those things that that's not what I want. You know, I would have vacation time two weeks out of the year or three weeks out of the year. And I couldn't take a vacation because I didn't make enough money for the vacation time that I was given. So how did I spend my vacation? Doctor's appointments, dental appointments, taking the kids wherever they needed to go, maybe to the park, maybe a barbecue, but I couldn't get on a plane and go to Aruba or Jamaica or go to some nice Caribbean island. I couldn't do any of that because I couldn't afford it. Where am I going on a thousand dollar, a thousand and eighty dollars? And I got bonuses now and again, but it still wasn't enough, you know. And what I tell people all the time is that that's not living. You know, you're not. You, you're just. It's 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 just a different world once you're able to work the hours that you want and you can make the money that you want. But it all starts with making a commitment. Yes, a commitment to yourself that you're going to stick it out no matter what, okay? You're going to do what's necessary in order to make it work. And then when you have mentors and leaders like myself and Nadia, who's willing to give you all of the pieces of the puzzle, it's now up to you to apply and take action every day, okay? Now for me, I didn't do it every day in the beginning, but I made a commitment to myself that for 90 days, I was going to work four to five days a week towards my business because the program that I was in, it was my business. Okay? <clears throat> and it was one of those things I made a commitment to myself. So yeah, there was days where I doubted whether or not it was working. What I was doing was I wasting my time. There was days where I couldn't sleep because I just didn't know if what I was doing was the right thing. Was I heading in the right direction? But I, because I made that commitment, not only to myself, but to my kids, I still kept going. And then six months later, I'm like, dang, I could really like leave my job. I could really like stay at home and do this full time. And it's, it's nothing, that's like the greatest feeling, you know, being able to work your own hours, have something that you can go to, you know that the money's going to be there. You know, I went to the mailbox yesterday. I had another six envelopes. Like it's, it's nonstop. And all we do, Nadia and myself, along with a lot of other people, is we keep the pipeline full. And that's what it's really all about. Um, Nadia, one other thing I wanted to ask you. Um, when direct mail marketing, how long, have you ever heard about direct mail marketing before you bumped into me with, you know, within the eight months? Have you ever heard of it? Did you feel any type of way about it? 
you know no, actually um no i was actually looking for an opportunity like this because i know my audience i i've coached a lot of people um and what they struggle with is like recruiting mm -hmm. you know what i mean and a lot of them they're not trained they don't know how to use personal branding with attraction marketing they don't know how to do that and a lot of people are terrified of video you know, so I was looking for an opportunity like this to help them. And that's what I, I started following you. Yeah. And I think that's where it starts. And that's one of the reasons why I got into direct mail marketing, because I needed something easy to duplicate and something that was easy enough for me to explain to other people, you know, and now that I do online marketing and it, for me, it comes easy because I've been doing it for so long. I still know that for newbies or people that have been struggling online, this is the easiest method to start earning and then being able to apply the direct mail marketing to other things, you know? So what I want to do is just encourage people and let people know that you can have success offline. You can make a full-time income offline. It's not going to be overnight. Like I tell people all the time, if it was that simple, we would not have people working at Burger King, okay? If it was that easy, everyone would do it. It's not for everybody, okay? You have to be a certain type of person and you have to be consistent. I told this lady the other day, if you're one of those type of people, you had five jobs in the last year, you're a person that you're not consistent. This may not be the business for you. You know, if you're the type of guy, you have seven girlfriends within a year. <laughs> you can't seem to be consistent. This may not be easy for you. It's not saying that you can't do it, but it just may not be easy. A person that's been on a job forever and they know about consistency, they need this more than anything else. They have kids to look after. They have a family. They have a husband, a wife. They're looking to retire in the next five years or the next three years. This may be something easy for that person. It all depends on mentally where you're at. And if you have an open mind to, to actually learn something that works, okay? And that's another thing. Some people are already set in their ways. They're already, even though they haven't made a dime, they think they know what they're doing or they know what they need to do or they're easily, um, they look at every shiny object. We got people out there, the shiny object syndrome. So they're into this today, but then next week when something else come out, they're into that. And then something else comes out and they're into that. And you can't be one of those type of people. You have to be one of those people that stay focused on one thing at a time. I'm gonna give this six months and I'm gonna give it everything that I have so that I know that when the six months is over, I did everything necessary in order to make my business work. And that's what's important, okay? So again, guys, we are with Direct Mail uh, Business Opportunity and it's here to stay. Guys, I've been, even before, okay, so 2016 is when I actually really started getting into Direct Mail Marketing, but I had heard about Direct Mail a long time ago. I had seen some, videos i didn't really think nothing of it but it was years before that i had seen videos of direct mail marketing and i never thought much of it and until you know my mentor told me about it and we had long conversations about it but um i've sp i've spoken to women that's been doing not only not just women men too that's been doing this for 40 years they're like amanda we've been doing this forever <laughs> like it's not going anywhere we we've been collecting checks in the mail and cash in the mail for years so um, I'm hoping that this story and Nadia's experience and where we're heading can inspire other people to get started. Not only that, not to get started, but to be as excited 30, 60, 90 days from the day that you start. Because that's another thing. We get started in things and we're so excited in the beginning. And that, that quickly wears off. So you have to be more than excited when you get started. You have to be determined 
because excitement doesn't last that long. It's like getting on a roller coaster. You're on for three, two, two minutes and you're excited. And then once you're off, it's like, oh, okay, what's next? You know, excitement goes away quick, but your drive, your determination, your consistency, that's all of the things that's going to keep you actually going months and months and months from now when the excitement kind of wears off, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I got so many people that just joined within the last couple of weeks and they're so excited and I'm ready to get this going. I'm ready to get started. I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to do this. And it's sometimes it's those same people, I'll speak to them and I'll touch base with them 30 days and they're like, yeah, I kind of like, you know, st saw this other program and I was thinking about how does that work? You didn't even get, you didn't even really start the one that you're currently in. You need to focus on that first. So it's about keeping that excitement by replacing that excitement with determination, drive, consistency, and making a commitment to yourself that you're going to stay in it, you know, as long as you need to so that you can start seeing the results. But not only that, making sure whatever your mentor or your sponsor is telling you to do, you're following those steps. Because it's easy to start doing other things. I remember telling my, um, this one, this when I was online and this guy said, Amanda, you got to start doing videos. I said, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not happening. Anything else I could do? He's like, well, you could run traffic. And I started buying traffic and it, it was expensive, but I was making money. It took me a year and like three, four months to get to start doing video marketing, you know, and I actually didn't start doing video marketing until I was so excited about the results I was getting with direct mail marketing, the, my payments that were coming in. That's what really encouraged me to go online. But I'm like, dang, if I didn't waste that whole entire year, not listening to my sponsor, you know, I would have been a little bit ahead of the game, but to each its own, you know, it's not about it's not about when you get started. It's just about doing it. You know, everybody starts when they, when they're ready to start or they get, com they're comfortable when they're ready and that's fine, but it's just about just staying consistent. And Nadia, that's, that's one of the things with her, you know, she's been doing this for a while now. She's very consistent. She's very excited about what she's doing. And, you know, Nadia, if you can just give, give the audience a couple of words to encourage them, what is one of the things that you can say people need to have the most of in order to be successful within their journey? Consistency. You have to be consistent. Seriously. I mean, come on. When I first started my online journey, I didn't make any money the first six months. I could have given up, but I'm not, that's not who I am. You know, I, I mean, I graduated summa cum laude with these high, you know, Latin honors. <laughs> Only 1% graduate with that. So it takes a lot, you know, to, it took a lot for me to get to that point, and then I couldn't find a job. So for me, I had no plan B. This was the only thing that I, that I, I was like, this gotta work, you know. And before I knew it, I hit two leadership ranks, one after another, you know, guys. And you guys can do this, but you know, you gotta be consistent. But I think what was my, my issue was, um, I couldn't find a job. My degrees are worthless, so I had I had to make this work. You know, and that's what I did. So, yep. so, yeah. And like she said, consistency, I think that's the main thing with me. Um, there's more than enough education knowledge out there. There's more than enough mentors out there to tell you what to do. It's just about you doing it, you know, um, not procrastinating. We got a lot of people that do that too. I have people that have purchased products for me. And it took them three months to even go through the training. Like, come on, three months. Like, you know, and it's just like you got to don't procrastinate. Get in it. Get your feet wet. Dedicate a little bit of time a day. You know, a lot of us, we have families. We have kids. We have jobs. We have husbands and boyfriends and all of that. But at some point, you have to say, you know what? I'm spending this time and this time alone to work on my business. But you know what I think, Amanda? I think the fact that you and I, we have our own groups that we're training our people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they recruit people, and I'm not, not just talking about this business, I'm talking in general, right? They recruit people and they don't train them. 
Yeah. But then a lot of people, they don't really know how to market, you know? And that's why I have a group. I'm training my people, you know, I'm, I'm building them a funnel. You know, I'm doing all this for them, you know? And, that, and that's my, important. Yeah, because my goal is to like, for them to like achieve success within 90 days. And I know I can do that. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I wanna thank you so much, Nadia, for coming out tonight. And I wanna thank everyone that came out to this um, webinar this evening to, to get this information and, you know, kind of see where we're at, you know, and what we're, where we're heading and what we're, we have massive plans that's going on. This thing is just growing bigger. And the, the, like I said, the money, I just came from a three, three week vacation out of the country. I mean, I could have never done that years ago working the job that I was working and, you know, I can, take my kids when I want and let them see and experience things that I didn't get to experience as a child because we didn't have the money. We didn't have the money. And, and you know I, something? Yeah. I just took a whole month off vacation last year, February. I was in Egypt for three weeks, you know? So without, I mean, before I got into online marketing, guys, I wouldn't have been able to do what I'm doing now. I could work anywhere in the world and not have to worry about money, mm -hmm. you know? And that's a good thing that it's a beautiful thing. It's a great feeling. <laughs> it really is. So I just want people to really um, take in the information that we gave tonight and really think about where do you want to be next year? You know, do you want to think about this day and think about six months, three months, six months from now, a year from now, where would you like to be? How much money would you like realistically um, would like to make? And also think, about are you willing to do what it need, what needs to be done in order to get there because that's also important you know and the thing guys amanda and i we have a group in place to help you guys with anything that you guys need so it's not like you guys are on your own you know you got you have both of us to help you and train you correct correct so yeah we're, we're definitely here we're definitely here i'm here and i know nadia is i speak to nadia almost every single day yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we are definitely here to make sure that you have everything that you need to be successful. And guys, direct mail is, is the program is here. The money is here to be made. And there's a lot of money out there. We got a lot of people in the US. We got a lot of people in Canada that can join this opportunity. There's a lot of lives that needs that's looking and waiting for this. And not only that, this is the time of the year where a lot of um, parents are looking for online offline opportunities. Um, this is our peak season for a lot of online and offline marketers. We are in our peak season. When kids go back to school, everybody's online looking for something. And you want to be right there for them to get your information. So this is a really good time to get started. The next three months are going to be crazy, yep. crazy. So just get really get ready and prepare yourself for that rush if you are willing to put in the work and make sure that you are waiting for them when they come online and they're looking for information or they go to their mailbox and check their mail and they're there to get your information. You want to just be there. So I again, listen to this. Yeah. I just started a week ago. I have 27 people who joined me. Wow. 27. 27. Congratulations. And their, their mail is going to be coming in. I've already received four. And I'm not kidding. I can show you guys my results. I can show you guys my group with all these people in there. You know? That's really, that's really good, Nadia. That's really good. And it's inspiring. It's really inspiring. It's like, and, and you know, that's the thing. Sometimes I'm, I'm like, I get so excited when other people are getting results because it's like people are really winning and we can all, it's more than enough money for everybody to win. Honestly, there's a lot of money that's out there. So I just want to inspire people again and make sure people get the information that they need. Um, at the end of this meeting, get back to the person that invited you to this hangout to get their link or to get all of your questions answered. Um, we will be having webinars ongoing and um, giving people information. We'll have some other testimonials and people coming out, um, giving you their results. Okay, we're gonna be doing this ongoing. So make sure that you stay, stay connected and um, we will be here. So I wanna say 
Thank you to everyone that came out tonight. Nadia, thank you so much, so much. I really appreciate you. Thank and, you so um, much for having me on this webinar to actually, you know, I want to help you guys. Both of us want to help you guys because we found a system that's working. It's easy to duplicate. It's easy. That's right. You know? That's right. So jump on board, guys. Come on board with us. Let's do this. We're going to train you and let's run with this for 90 days. Correct. That's right. And we'll see you again. We'll be here and we'll be sending out another link for another webinar. We're going to be bringing out some more people in their testimonials. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep this thing going, guys, and keep people encouraged and inspired. And um, we'll see you guys next week. So have a good night. Good night, everyone. Bye.